Well, that was weird. All right. Let's try that again. Well, hello! Music is awesome. Artist you should know about is the name of the game. Uh... Yeah, I'm sticking with it. All right. On today's episode, I'm going to... Ooh, I'm getting a text. I'm getting a text from my daughter. Do, do, do. I'm gonna reply and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna stay with me. Hang on. I'll be right. Haha, <laughs> that's what I said to her. Alright, I wanna talk about a band called Wire. I hope all of you know Wire. Sure, some of you do. Sure, some of you don't. That's why I'm. That's why I'm here. Um, my usual thing. They're great, which is why I'm talking about them. They're they started in the '70s, I think, right at the punk explosion in uh, Britain. Equally confusing why they're not more well known and self-explanatory why they're not more well known. Kind of like the uh, the when the Beatles blew up, all the bands they signed in Liverpool. I'm sure some of those are great. But, uh, you know, you know the Beatles, you don't know anyone else. Anyway, uh, they're a punk group, but they are definitely on a different path or different wavelength than the, the, the Pistols or the Clash or any other bands around that time or the Ramones. Um, thick Fuzz uh, and their orchestration. And usually you don't think of orchestration or arrangement in punk songs. But in their rapid fire delivery of songs, they would build momentum and build space and build tension between a couple guitars and they obviously would overdub um, clicks and piano and things they it was it was punk with a, a hint of avant-garde or experimental in the background which made it very cool very cool and very different than a uh, than other punk going on but um still very accessible um to the ear and uh they're still going today they put out an album i think a year or two ago but their first album, uh, Pink Flag, which is which is regarded as a great album, and it is a great album. Uh, it's 20 songs in about 40 minutes. That should tell you the, the breakneck speed of all these tunes. A few songs like 43 seconds long, and they're hilarious and awesome and great and just to the point and done. Wire is the band. They're, they're great. Found them years ago, and I still the CD is still in my car. I still listen to them every now and then. It's good stuff. It's good, uh, I'd say, for educational purposes. It's good to see what you can do with music, kind of a, in a, with a minimalist setting. And uh, they shouldn't be lost to time. I don't want to put them, I don't want to be like Spinal Tap, like, where are they now? But, you know, they're, they're not as well known as many of the punk groups, or uh, name recognition as many of the punk, gr- punk groups of that time. But if you don't know why, you should definitely check them out. Check out Pink Flag, the first record. I think Missing Chairs is their second or third. That was a really long pregnant pause. That's all I got. Check out Wire. They're great. Talk to you later.